Brent, what have you done? He sent himself into a Bajani pain trance. Oh, smart move. Sending yourself into a Bajani trance before you get Borgified. I only hope you're in time to stop them before they Borgify your friends. Wait! Wait, I think it's him. It's still Sprint. We'd better get out of here before it's crawling with Borg. I'll wait, Team Tarytis. Three to beam directly to computer core. Now. Wait, no! Captain, no, it's all right. Implants programming is shutting down, Captain. We have complete control again, sir. Captain, I have a message from Admiral Hansen. We are engaging the board. The Righteous is ordered to remain outside the battle until all first and second line defenses are exhausted. At your discretion, that was all, sir. And so it begins. You mean there's nothing we can do? Not until we're called into action by either the Admiral or the Borg. They also serve who sit and wait, Lieutenant. Let's get a battle ready. Ugh, I just hate sitting here doing nothing. You're worried that the battle will be won without you, Targus? Worried that the battle will be lost without us. You overestimate your importance to the situation, Ensign. The battle is already lost. Keep your cynicism to yourself, Quint. I'm just telling the truth. I'm afraid he may be right. Things aren't going very well. Oh, not you too, Lieutenant. It's important to have a positive outlook, even in the bleakest of situations. It doesn't get much bleaker than this. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about Kalen. Kalen? My son. What were you thinking? <laughs> I think by now all my friends are tired of hearing me brag about Kale, and I'm sure they don't want to hear any more. Did you hear that, Sprint? You don't want to hear Furlong talking about his whiny brat now, do you? I don't know what you're staring at, but I don't like it. Just be careful where you point. <laughs> <laughs> 